so today we're going to explore a little hill um, just south of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. When I say little, I mean big, actually. It's the same size as the uh, Pyramid of the Sun, similar size. But walking uh, toward the hill uh, today, May 6, 2017, I noticed this uh, little landscaping project and I just wanted to show you these, these stones. And we see this textured, this texturing. See the hills and valleys, it's, it's always the same with the construction stones here. The artificial baked construction stones. This is clay. So these beautiful stones were used by the ancients because this this is a, this house is on a pyramid right here, the tallest documented pyramid in the world, right there, Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. So, so they're living on a pyramid. So when they when they do yard projects, they're going to find these stones, these very flat, very interesting clay stones. So we're going to continue on and uh, have ourselves a look and a dig on the structure south of the Bosnian Pyramid of Love, which itself is south of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Okay, so we've walked only about uh, 25 meters, and here we are with a little bit better view of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. There it is, and then next to it is Pyramida Ljubov, otherwise known as the Bosnian Pyramid of Love. So the Bosnian Pyramid of Love is knitted together to this structure, but behind that, and, and there's the Temple of Mother Earth, on the other side of the river uh, called Foynica. But behind this, which we can't see right now, there's another structure that's similar in size to the Pyramid of the Sun. This is much bigger than, than this structure, although from here you can't really tell the difference. But So we're going to head over to uh, check out this, uh, other, this other hill, which is just called Burdo Hill in uh, Bosnia. Okay, so as we're walking uh, south through the Bosnian Pyramid Complex, we see various structures. So on the left, we see the Bosnian Pyramid of the Moon, right? Second tallest documented pyramid in the world. Woohoo! Very, very steep. And just to its, just to the north of the Pyramid of the Moon is Osiela Hill. And Osiela Hill is also a built structure and you can see the, the soft clay and hard baked clay stone layers. There they are, leftward leaning. They're inclined into the structure. So here we have Pyramida Ljubov, the Pyramid of Love, right next to the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. And the Pyramid of the Sun is actually a much, much bigger structure, as I mentioned. It's the tallest documented pyramid in the world. It doesn't look so big from here. Uh, and these two pyramids are knitted together by a clay and concrete staircase that goes right in between them. And if you walk up that, which is uh, really, really difficult to do, I wouldn't suggest it, you'll see the alternating clay and concrete layers. It's amazing. And you can see how the flanks, the corners of this pyramid are built up. So you can see this incredible, uh, presumably it's a structural strength uh, uh, issue for the ancients. So they're building up the uh, corners of the pyramid for, to keep the pyramid strong. You can see how it comes up a bit. Amazing. Here we see the straight edge of the structure we're going to explore today. It's absolutely amazing. This, uh, this hill, you can see this incredible line. You kind of have to wonder if that's natural. 
and we, I, I believe this is a built structure. There's the crest of it up there. And you can see this line, it's just absolutely amazing. So walking south, we see the western edge of the Temple of Mother Earth, the western face right there, right? And then beyond that, we see another structure. What is that right there? It also has the look of a pyramid with its smooth face. We've seen this before many times in this, in this area. Uh, but right now we're going to look at this structure. We're right here already. We're at Bootsy. We're here at Bootsy. A little tiny uh, borough, a little tiny st town. B-U-C-I. And already we see So we have a little bit of an excavation here, or what looks like a, uh, it looks like some erosion took down this, this grass here. So the grass was on it and then it came down from rain. So we see, we can see the built quality already. So we know the structure's built. I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious from many lines of inquiry, but here it is, baked clay stone layers, intermixed with soft clay, soft clay mitigates the earthquakes. Baked clay stone, soft clay, the layers go on and on, right? Baked clay stone, soft clay, clay stone, clay stone, soft clay. So I'm just going to get some photos. Uh, it's obvious that this structure is built, it's just a question of what it is. Another uh, clay stone. It keeps going, it keeps going. Claystone layers. And if we could dig further in, we'd find out that these are undoubtedly inclined into the structure. In fact, already we can see that that's the case because we can see below these. So the, these are not flat right here. These, these stones are not flat. They're inclined into the structure. So what do I mean by inclined into the structure? I mean that they are going like this as opposed to being level. So because they're going like this, we can see below them. So my camera's at the same level as these stones, but we can see their bottoms, so we know they're inclined. And therefore, because these stones are inclined into the structure, we know that this is a built structure. And, and it's obvious, there's, there's, I've never, in 19 months here, I've never found a single natural structure, including the riverbed. It's all built for, for kilometer after kilometer after kilometer. Soft clay right there. And above it, the hard clay stone layer. And between, between the stones, there's also more soft clay. So there, there's soft clay around all of the claystone layers. It's for, it's for earthquake mitigation. So this is uh, how the ancients did it. They're so smart. Clay is so sticky. It's soft and damp, but it's not too wet, so it won't slide. It's wet enough to stick. It's like glue. They just glued their pyramids together with clay. They call it glina in the Bosnian language. So let's keep going. And there's that structure, wow. Gotta explore that soon too. That's another day. So you can get a really good feeling for the concave nature of the Temple of Mother Earth from this angle. Pretty amazing, amazing structure. Wow. Absolutely amazing. So walking south, we've already passed that, the edge of that structure. It's so, so clean, that line that's just so straight and clean. Let's look, so we're, we're now south of that, but we're gonna have to circle around it to get up it. It's very, very steep. 
So there's a little road off to the right. We're going to try and take that. And walking south, just a few meters beyond, we see beton, concrete. Concrete, my friends, concrete. And the ancients had a way of making concrete that was, that is really, really hard. It's, it's the hardest documented concrete on the planet. And it's right here on this, on this hill. So we know it's a built hill. You can see the layers of the concrete here. Amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard. It's not gonna be crumbly. You can, it's really, really hard. Really hard concrete. Super hard. Yeah. And that's what they put on top of the clay and, and, and uh, concrete, clay and uh, claystone layers. Wow. And here's some more. Here's some more concrete. Yeah. And they also worked in steps. They would do step downs, step downs, step downs. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. You can see the layering of the concrete. Very steep structure. So we're gonna go around it. And walking south, we can start to hear the beautiful Foynitsa River. Here it is. So continuing to walk south, we see another straight line. Wow. Absolutely amazing, because this hill has sort of a curve in it. And then, so there's actually two edges. The Temple of Mother Earth from the south, amazing. Absolutely amazing. So it's basically a pyramidal structure, but it continues on and curves around east and north to form a concave sort of satellite dish uh, structure. And the satellite dish is pointing north, just like the best nor um, face of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, the most perfectly oriented northern face of a pyramid in the world is the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. So this is facing, that concave part of it is facing the same way as, the, as that perfect face of the Pyramid of the Sun, amazing. And we're just up a little bit from the road, so there's a little path. So I'm just gonna see what's happening here. See if I can do a little excavation or if, or if there's already some natural places where we can see what's beneath the soil. The soil's had probably 30,000 30, years of to uh, accumulate, so that's a long time. All right, so we found a relatively open space of uh, a few meters here. I've got a little tool for just this kind of thing. So far it's just soil. All right, so we have a non-conclusive dig for the day. So what we're gonna do is use the daylight and, and just go along the side of the structure above the Foynitsa River here. And we're just gonna go across the structure, maybe up the structure if we can find a way and look for tunnels. And by tunnels, I mean, really I'm gonna look for a, a concrete outcropping because that's so far what's, what's been the sign of uh, a tunnel. So underneath, directly underneath this concrete outcropping as with Ravne, Ravne 2, other structures around, other tunnel structures, there'll be a huge, massive glop of concrete. Super hard, super dense concrete of the ancients. Uh, they're both protecting their tunnel from collapse and they're uh, marking it so they can find it later, presumably. Um, I doubt it was for us to find it, but it's hard to know. We don't even know who they were. Their motivations are obscure. So we're gonna just go along, see if we can find any signs of tunnels, because that's really the, the, the goal. We already know that this structure is built from other lines of inquiry, the, with the Looking at the excavated part by the road down there, we see the uh, alternating clay and uh, clay and claystone layers. So we know the structure's built. We just would, we're looking for extra confirmation here. We didn't get it today, and uh, I'm just going to keep going to do some tunnel hunting. Okay. So we were up there, just about 10 meters, and coming along this little path, 
right here we see this massive concrete outcropping. Not clear if there's a tunnel below it, but it doesn't quite look like uh, the usual outcropping. It's uh, it's not, there doesn't seem to be a vertical side, it's kind of a 45, so it's kind of going along the slope of the pier of the structure, so we're going to keep looking. It looks like there's a trail down there, so we'll take that. Pretty spectacular view of the ancient built structure that Dr. Semir Osmanagic has called the Temple of Mother Earth. This is the south side of the structure, amazing. Foynitsa River, right there. heading east and then north through the complex and here on this burdo or hill we have more concrete this concrete clearly follows the line of the of the hill so this is not probably not a tunnel indicator so that's that seems to be the plan of the ancients and it just goes on for kilometer after kilometer so i went up to fornitsa grad the little town of Foynitsa, which is way upstream, 14 kilometers as the crow flies, from the center of the Visoko uh, Bosnian Pyramid Complex. And I just just decided to see how far up it was built, because we saw it was built in the complex, the, the riverbed, of hard, baked, adhered clay layers, clay stone layers. I just wanted to see how far it was built, and as soon as I got dropped off by the taxi, it was clear that it was built there too. So it's probably built even further up than 14 kilometers. So I'm going to go make a video of that this August, when the late August, when the river is low. So we were looking for a tunnel entrance. This does not look like a tunnel entrance. This looks like concrete poured on top of an existing structure. So I'm gonna get back down if I can. It's super, super steep. I had to be on all fours to get up here, so let's see if we can do that. Okay, south side of the Temple of Mother Earth. So here we are, walking back north, and we see this concrete that's been excavated for the road. And you say, but this could be natural concrete. No, and how do we know it's not natural? Because we see the straight line seam. We always see this, right? It's sectioning. The ancients sectioned their concrete. It's always a straight line seam everywhere you go. Croatia, South Africa, Bosnia. Quartz calcite veins. Sectioning. 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 They say, that could be natural, that could be, oops straight line. No reason for Mother Nature to make a straight line. Sectioning. 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 So the ancients sectioning. So the ancients had had, you know, limits to how much concrete they decided to pour. They stopped here and they did a section. Boom. Straight up. They stopped here, and they did another section. Were they precious about how it looked like the, the Romans might have been? No, not here. They just wanted to get some concrete on their structure. I'm just gonna go vertical and take a photo, hold on. Straight line seams, you see it all over the world. And it makes you wonder how much the world is built. Straight line seams all the way up, watch. Boom, section. Let me just go vertical, get that. These two seams meet. These two guys here meet right there. Quartz calcite. Section. Section, right? Section. All the way up. Did they care that the section lines were not quite Parallel? They didn't. They didn't care. Let me get a let me get a section. And of course, there's the layers. Layer, 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 layer. Right. So you get layers and sections. Layers and sections. 
layers and sections. And it looks like some of these sections had clay between them. It's hard to tell. We definitely have the layering, right? Layers, layers, layers. But then we look at the sectioning and we go, huh, looks like it might have had clay between it for earthquake mitigation. Maybe that's what that was for. Don't know. So all this is concrete, concrete, concrete. Sectioning. Sectioning, sectioning, layers and sectioning. Rightward leaning here for some reason. This quartz calcite vein is amazing and it goes right into the same, it goes right into a section. So watch it, watch it go right there. And there's another section that comes and meets it, right there. So there's the, the V of the two quartz calcite veins coming going over. It's absolutely amazing. It looks like it looks like there's mud uh, clay between those two sections. It's not clear if that came in later. Absolutely amazing. But you can see the regular, if not perfectly straight, but regular section and smooth on this side, right? No reason for nature to do that. Okay.